thank you. Um, I just want to say thank you uh, to so many people, uh, especially to Jay and Hazel, uh, for being so kind with this book, which uh, took some doing to get to the right place. And especially to Margaret, who spent so much time um, and patience with the individual letters of every single poem uh, to get it to this stage where I could launch the book. And I will forever be grateful for that because um, between my first book and this book, I have had two children. Um, I have almost died twice of preeclampsia. <laughs> I have been married and it's um, a lot. So, <laughs> a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So I'm grateful to be here, and I'm grateful to be here with these people. Um, I have a couple friends who are here to read me, hear me read. Uh, Wendy McPhee, who used to be my boss, and she hates that I tell people that. And uh, my friend Kim, who has been my friend since we were 14 years old, and has never heard me read. So sorry, baby. And one of my favorite things about reading is borrowing my husband's old-timey watch because he's a very old man. <laughs> so I'll start with this, which is like an abecedarium or something. A. A smudge of red ochre cracked, leaf after leaf as big as my head. Yellows, red, oranges, pinks, browns. Underfoot, they murmur. I step on them to hear the crackle. Smoke pervades, wood smoke, leaf smoke, barbecue smoke. The light, lights carry dried leaves in the shade, pressed botanicals. I pick up my leaves with my brother for the Thanksgiving table centerpiece. The smell of turkey and stuffing, cranberry stains along my dress. B. My cousin Elizabeth in the woods behind the house, her hair to her hips, or I thought it was, brushing her hair, sitting on a rock. I hover worshipfully. She statues, mermaids, siren of the trees, long brown curls and long limbs. Her brothers and my brothers break up our forest lunch. I turn furious and swear at them a world too old for my mouth. They gape for sense of fiery, righteous indignation, sword weighed. See? A paddle boat in the lake, knees kicking, straddling the wooden surfing board and Pascal showing me how, conscious of my thighs, ten, Love the heft of the bar and the sail, leaning into the curve, cutting it across the lake, the deck, losing my contact in the water, having to find two not new contacts somehow, somehow, some translation problem. What age? Adulthood. The uneven move of the deck, the dock that is, wobble back, the small craft hooked to the side, the tiny fishes in gray water, the fishes, the weeds we swim away from, the tickle of the fishes, long ago my water wings, puffy brave upper arms, pop-eyed. D. My mother's dramatic bob, her lips, watching raccoons cross the road, lolling curved walks, bouncing large, little masks and eyes, fondue and crackling hot oil, raclette, the importance of not saying raclette, as it aggravated my brother, the importance of saying raclette, E. The sky opening up, family beneath, walking, walking over the lawn, white sheets of something fluttering and crinkling, growing along the black sky, observing the sky, fanning out, moving unknown, fright, beauty, unknown, northern lights, unknown. F. Rock moves, rock watches the grass, rock watches the sprinklers, the lawn grown long and yellow, burnt at the ridge, the lawn grown and green, the sprinkler infested, perfect quarter inch blades. There's a guy. Satellite swans. I have no TV at home yet. I cloister. I haven. Weep. Sleep in the basement under earth. Cold. I cloister. Naked in the hot tub and the yawling, gaping moon. Monstrous silver disc. Stars and more stars. The wind rushes through leaves. They bustle. H. Prologue. Fish water, fish muck, water doll, statue eel, water jellyfish, coral, fish seaweed, water, salt breasts. Premise. Fish girl, boy, other girl, pause, dumb girl, boy, pretty girl, dumb boy, dumb girl, doom girl, fish, foam. Cliff notes, shipwreck, lifesaver, bargain, tongue, dog bed, heart, weapon, ship, waves, interior, her, gurgle, interior, him, what? G. Profiled women in small cylindrical frames, sticking their nails into the wood, layers of candy bar wrappers slicked into hodgepodge, blue ribbons, a silvery grain sheen across. There's nothing but names and comments and avatars to follow. Icon of the Virgin. 
I. She tries to remember the door's access code, the impulse in the nail, the thread across the darn needle, the blank bucket stare, all of it meshes, flattens, becomes a study in merged color. Her fingers touch porcelain, they curve around the base, porcelain, pig vagina, between two fingers and so slippery. The smacked up sentence of it pulls over and around and blushes and she clutches and then Thomas opens the door and there's so much whooshing, flaps of cotton skirt around her face and yelling sirens, the blood in it, of it. Posters embellish, fray at the edge, unwind, come into threads of knits and kites, a small crayfish red in the pond. She outlines her hand in gold pen, embellishes, it seems larger, larks at the window, invigorates Vigoration, vigor. J. Hospital bed hovers, maintains two inches from the floor. Her mother's pained expressions at her left side holds hand. She floats. The air contextualizes, turns to water, then wine, then to water again. Her hair ebbs out around her, grows squirreled and reflective. The bed lifts higher, and those at bedside rumple and round and out and remain backwards and forwards and upside and down and round and every and and round and round curlicue, a soft hollow in the sound in the ears, the taste of salt on her hips, the luncheon the ocean. The bed hits the ground with a clatter of springs and metal and water whooshes outward and out the doors and floods the children's playroom entirely. Two heat dehumidifiers and a fan. N. A belly expands and contracts, upend the blue circle, a table full of marbles. O. I write my way out of a paper bag. We surrender, evolve, surrender, evolve, surrender. P. Dread pitches itself black against the thin of her forearm, concaves a visible crease. Oh, flesh of white turned whiter, the hairs attend. Fleck, flick, flex, flick. Disaster politics make it possible for the impossible, and then it comes up by ten, and we're reckless with it, maybe. Q. She anticipates, dreads, waits, suppose, surrenders, evolve. So there's a lot of longer pieces in here. So I'll go back to the first one, which is before, 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 before. And that'll be where I'll finish because it's a bit longer. One. The orchid has large, waxy white, star-like flowers with a pronounced lip and a foot-long spur that projects from the back of the flower. Since this white orchid had a strong, spicy fragrance at night, Darwin hypothesized that it must be pollinated by a nocturnal hawk moth with a proboscis, a tongue, that extended to 12 inches. 2. Deviant stroke work, nibble heavy gagged thresh work, needle stuck, hand punched fret work, distressed countenance, skull work, affect, all sense of proportion. I can't say it, so I'll say it's land. 3. Muscles of the human neck, body, pathetisma draws in the corners of the mouth inferiorly and widens it as in expressions of sadness and fright, also draws the skin of the neck superiorly when teeth are clenched. Four. In the orchid, the pollinia attached itself by a stalk or extension that is hygroscopic, meaning it bends when moisture levels or the levels of humidity change. Once dry, the pollinia is in the perfect position to attach to the stigma. Five. In a room, in a house, in a basement, something borrowed, something blue, see plus cans blossom, a copse of flowers cross-referenced, pepper skim, veil invested blue blood, seed pearl sticky. Here's at it then. Fingers tighten in nulls, ears say mine, mine, minion, miniature, minaret, tower, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Six. How many of these questions do you answer yes? Are you afraid of your orchid? Do you sometimes feel like you have to walk on pins and needles to keep your orchid from getting angry? Has your orchid ever hit, slapped, choked, or pushed you? Has your orchid ever pulled your hair? Do you feel like you deserve to be punished? Does your orchid drive you crazy or make you feel like you're going crazy? Have you believed that your orchid would kill you? Have you been told by your orchid that he or she would kill you? Has your orchid threatened or attempted to commit suicide? Have you been forced by your orchid to do something you didn't want to do? Do you feel emotionally numb? Have you ever left your orchid because of how you were treated but later returned or allowed your orchid to return after promises that it would all be different? Seven. Impetuous temptation and Motel 6 stopovers are products of conception defy gravity. Mouth breeds insolent print, splendor of letters and brace of doves, bent counterclockwise, slept fluorescent with the patron saint of lost causes, divinity lessons. C, bite work, craft work, cruel work, piece work, bit work, clock work, buddy work, brush work, cabinet work, fire work, frame work, mesh work, iron work, leg work, stone work. Eight. Lethality guide, frequent, increase, severe, escalate, 
escalate, frequent, intoxicate, increase, force, threat, impair, weapon, stress, violence, a new relationship for either. Nine. As far as orchids are concerned, we have known for a long time that they are notoriously promiscuous. 10. Still, I am not your dove for safekeeping. <laughs>